Hey guys, uh, it's Rebecca again. I wanted to make a short and sweet video this time about the ATI Fundamentals Finals we took a couple of weeks ago. We took it two Thursdays ago. Last week we took our Comprehensive Finals and that was the absolute last test we took. So yes, it's officially over our first semester and I'm not going to say unfortunately, I know I was tempted to, uh, Jonathan and I both made a 89.6. <laughs> you need 900 points to make an A. We both had 896 points. We are four points away from an A and yes, it stings a little bit, but I come to terms with it. <laughs> it isn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. We passed everything. We didn't fail a single exam. My lowest test score was the last unit exam, which was an 82. That was because I didn't read any of the chapters that were assigned to that unit at all. All I did were practice questions on the nursingtestbank.info. I guess I got a little cocky and thought I would be okay just doing questions because so far all the test questions I ran across were usually on nursing test banks so I thought I'd be safe with that and the rationales and listening to my study group explain themselves but obviously it wasn't good enough because had I studied and read for it I could have made a little higher of a score which would have helped me in the end to reach that 900 point goal. But it's okay, it's okay. We're moving on, we're not talking about that anymore. This video was to talk about uh, the ATI finals because a lot of people struggled with it. I'm not sure how many people fundamentally fail the class because of it, because if you fail, not fail, but if you don't reach a level two on your first attempt, your second attempt, your second and final attempt, the highest score you can make is a 70, 74, a level one. So even if you make a hundred on your second attempt, even if you make higher than a 74 on your second attempt, the most you can get is a 74. So personally, I actually had a friend that sat at my table who did not ultimately did not pass the semester because he didn't do so hot on the ATI finals and with our program you have to reach a certain number of test scores before you can include your activity points so had he reached that number he would have gotten his activity points and passed the class but because he was X number of points shy from his test score goal he just failed and he didn't even attempt his second ATI attempt because he knew had he even gotten a 74, it wouldn't have been enough. So that's why I wanted to make a video because of how important and how subtle uh, the severity of the effects of this exam is. Um, you could go on allnurses.com and read a form about how difficult it was in comparison to your unit exams because your unit exams, yes, are uh, not only are they basic knowledge, but there's not a whole lot of application. And so a lot of people are shocked when they come across your ATI final exam because they are full of application and uh, full of priority level questions. And so you're not used to thinking um, which one is more correct. Well, you sort of are. Um, not only are you thinking of what's more correct, but you're thinking of what's more important, what's um, more um, emergent, what's, like you're not just thinking about people's uh, superficial things like their skin or their nails or their hair. You're thinking about their heart or their blood. You're thinking about assessing first all the time. And if you're not assessing first, it's because it's something really urgent, like is there trauma in the eye <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so try to think along the line of more realistically 
and everything that you have learned so far from your Nursing Fundamentals book, whether it's Perry and Potter like ours, the author, um, just put it aside for now because there's a lot of times where not does it only contradict, but it kind of like the, the ranges are off. So try to put everything you learned from your fundamental course to the side for now. You have less than a week to prepare for your ATI finals. And if you want to, you can uh, do what I did. Um, let me first say that I actually got a 86.7. So at my school, you need a 64 to 72 to make a level 2, and a 73 or higher to make a level 3. And I got a level 3, and I don't know how awesome that was, I just know that a lot of people failed. I'm not going to say I'm the only one that made a level 3, I'm sure there's somebody else out there, but it's actually a really, uh, I don't know what I did to be honest to get that grade. Um, I didn't have time to go through the entire ATI book again, but I do know that I read every ATI chapter and did all the questions behind the chapter throughout the semester because the time between your last unit exam and your ATI finals is just not enough time to do all of it again. But I did manage to review by doing the questions at the end of every chapter. Like I probably did it in a matter of two days. Not the entire day, but like I jam-packed like all of it in like four hours one day and then three or four hours the next day. So I just sat down and hit this book really hard and did all the questions. And also there are Quizlets online that you can use uh, for practice questions. I wouldn't use the Quizlets out there that are just for you to understand certain terms, but I would use the Quizlets that have 50 questions. There's two quizzes out there that have 50 questions that will help you understand the thinking process of ATI questions. And your program should offer you practice quizzes. We had two, 2016A and B. And there's a quizlet out there that has the exact same quiz questions that were on our quiz out there. So you can try and find that. If not, I'm gonna try and link that. Uh, on the uh, information section. Um, so the teacher is going to require you to take these practice quizzes for activity points or for extra points in your class, but that will be like three weeks before your actual exam. So I went back and retook those exams, and to my surprise, I missed it just uh, as much as I did the first time. I think I made a 75 on my first attempt and like an 80 on B on my first attempt and when I retook it I made a 73 so I did just as bad because you're still having to do your regular routine in between then and you can't remember everything I mean unless you can but I'm pretty good at remembering things especially if they're just questions but for some reason these ATI questions they're just they're just so special that it's just it's hard to explain how difficult they are. You just have to do those practice questions. And even after you do all of these questions and all of those practice questions on Quizlet and your practice quizzes on ATI, ATITesting.com, believe it or not, there probably will be only two or three questions on the actual final exam that you will recognize from all your practice questions. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly what's on the exam. Uh, to help you feel a little more relieved and I don't want to say that to scare you but I just want you to understand that you're going to have to study. I feel like those who didn't pass on their first attempt um, kind of underestimated how difficult it was. Um, so congratulations to you if you feel like the semester was easy thus far but when it comes to your ATI final and you're really wanting, you're needing a, a higher score than usual to pass the semester, you're going to want to study as much as you can. Um, so I don't know if it's different for everybody, but ours was actually 70 questions. We were told originally it would be 60 questions, 
and so the whole semester we were thinking it's going to be 60 questions, no big deal, and then the two nights before the actual exam, the teacher said there's going to be five extra questions that aren't, uh, that are kind of like, it's not going to hurt you if you miss it kind of thing, and it doesn't give you credit if you make it kind of thing, so I'm not really sure what they were for. Um, I guess it helps with the percentages in the end, I'm not sure, but, so that makes you think it's 65, right? But no, there were actually 70 questions, so if that helps you to know. Um, I had actually written down a couple of questions I could remember off the top of my head, but in the end I decided not, I'm not going to <laughs> mention it because a, I don't want to get in trouble, and B, it could change for you because I'm sure the exam changes every year. So if you didn't take away anything, just try and take away. I just cannot stress enough. Please do not underestimate this exam. Um, yes, the ATI book is significantly easier to read than your fundamentals book, but the questions that they're going to test you on your knowledge and on your application um, it's going to be significantly harder. So please prepare yourself. Do those questions, 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 questions. And uh, yeah, good luck.